welcome to you can again this video we're going to show you how to find out why your start stop is not uh, working what could be preventing it so here for example we have a hybrid and then you can see that the, it says ready there but that ready should be in green in order for the start stop fi uh, function to work on some cars you know it's going to say echo or, or things along those lines so if you got a good scanner that uh, is able to look at that data then we can find out what's preventing this uh, start stop feature from working so if you select uh, diagnostics and then you select your make uh, so in this case this is a mercedes and then we'll go to smart bin it's going to detect the correct model there so that we don't have to manually pick it and then left what you want to do is you want to go to engine control unit so go to control modules and then drive and then go to motor electronics and then you go to you can read the codes a lot of times you might have a code not always uh, that's related to it in this case we don't have a code that uh, points us to why the start stop is not working and sometimes just having codes for the check engine light would be enough of a reason for the echo function to not work it just depends on the car but if you go to live data and then we go down to um, keep scrolling engine start stop function here we see all the information that's required for the start stop to work and what the status is so if something uh, is not working properly or the car is not detecting so presence of driver you have to have a driver but right now you can see even though I'm sitting in the driver's seat it's not uh, it's not detected usually that's connected to the seat belt so once you connect the seat belt that changes to present accelerator pedal you need to be operating the uh, it needs to be not operated so like if you come to a stop so that is okay it's the way that it should be but speed, uh, speed threshold that's uh, that's not mapped and then transmission is not giving the, the green light basically and then the system overall is not okay but you can then there's all these other monitors that also need to be okay in order to um, to, to find out for the start stop to to work so this gives you a little bit of a hint uh, and it kind of points you to the uh, to the direction why that start stop is not working uh, every car is different so it, it's just uh, you might have to do some research uh, there's usually certain conditions that need to be met sometimes it could be the engine temperature needs to to be a normal operating temperature uh, things like you know seat belt needs to be on and uh, things of that nature but this gives you an idea of what to be looking uh, at so that you can figure out why your start, uh, start stop is not or your eco function is not working on your vehicle Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.